Uh, let's see how this one is going to end up playing out. Everybody, welcome to DTF 2022 Round 1 Tragedy and Gaius. Let's get it. We're making some noise here on Pokemon Stadium 2 to start things out for Game 1. Immediately opening with a Hadouken from one side. Oh, oh, there it is. Here you see when a Ken is walking, parrying you hits. Look at these conversions. Already, I just got to say, Tragedy is just playing. Well, excuse me, Gaius is just playing solid. Like, playing out of shield is so important against any type of character, but especially a zoner. You don't have to really worry about the projectile pressure. And just as the dash attack was brought up wow. earlier by you, expert start to the game, not even a percent on the board. And guys takes first stock. And then immediately jumping into a lightning kick. <laughs> not going to be taking much else after. And uh, I've got to say, Tragedy just keeps on dashing to all these Hadoukens. Breaking the Phantom a little bit early, but down in neutral, beautiful stuff. And tries to go for the lightning kick, has the right idea, but misses that sweet spot. Yeah, spacing and timing is super important for getting that aerial ballot together with Zelda. She has so much firepower when she's on the aggressive with those normals, but we've already seen with Punisher's poor timings on shield, she gets punished hard for it. Oh yeah, just walking in, walking out, tries to go through the up and into the Shoryu. I love that conclusion. I don't actually think it would have killed especially because that was the wrong kind of Shoryu can, um, but just popping out a down tilt and dashing back. That's the kind of non-committal play we love to see. Good catch with the smash attack is going to allow Tragedy to put something up on the board, although at these pleading percentages, plenty of an opportunity for Gaius to convert that into a kill. Although he's fishing for this up air to sure your aggressive kick gets it done though. Uh, I'm trying to figure out like what Tragedy could be doing a little bit better. I just feel like Tragedy is playing up in uh, Gaius's face a lot. A lot more than I would like to be if I'm fighting Ken. You know what the trick is, darling? Too many buttons. Too many buttons. You got a character like Zelda, you have to just stay back. Let your opponent press all the buttons. Let them approach, exhaust themselves. Hit them from afar. You have the options. Whether it's full charge knight, whether it's the Din's fire, you have plenty of opportunity to also do that. Something as yeah. simple as taking advantage of your reflector. But you see Tragedy has slowed it down, but then, oh, popping out that multi jump just going to be holding it all the way. Gaius ends up jumping into it. Didn't think that Tragedy uh, was just going to multi jab by uh, by themselves that long. Hey, sometimes you got to jump into it. Do it for the one time, you know? Ooh, if they had the buffer jump, it would have had it. Oh, absolutely. I like it, though. Big damage still. And Even if it's well, not the conversion, it's the kill. Mm -hmm. Crossing up with that uh, upbeat. Wow, that, that move always has a lot more shield stun than you think it will. Uh, but right now, trying to find a way to be able to land here. Is that going to be that? Yes, it will be. Uh, 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 did, you, oh. did you see that? That's one on the board. I knew I'd win. Ha. That's one on the board for the man. What was that? Was that like a little pop-off? Was that like a like a well, fist in the air? Yeah, you get a little one. He earned it. Look at that, off the focus attack. Should this have killed? That's a, this is a question I would love to ask uh, in with this that position. DI, tragedy deserved it. Yeah. 82 percent hello hello um and just gonna be hitting that show you can yo he really held up the entire way yeah you can sometimes like sdi out of it um but even then at the end i feel like that was just like holding out oh one oh that was a one oh wait a second let the that crew was know. so gone we just, only saw the oh uh, just in case you couldn't see the scoreboard just in case we couldn't see the scoreboard yeah Gaius just had to let us know yo this is pools this is pools Listen, if you're in this bracket, you gotta play ruthless. You gotta be ruthless. You gotta win it. A lot of money on the line. Anyone has that opportunity to make that bread. And honestly, it's not even that big of a bracket. Yes. Like, mind you, 100 people, 118, whatever it is. Solid. That's a solid number. But for the amount of money these cats are playing for? Yeah. Come on now. I love the confidence that Gaius is going to be coming in with, but now we are just going to be getting into game two. Setting up that tech chase, missing that one though. Getting a quick little down tilt into the Hadouken and funny little out of shield punish. You know what? I like the fact that Gaius noticed that, hey, I jumped in a little bit too late. I'm just going to back off. Maybe I'll try to get, uh, try to get a bigger punish later. It's that whiff punish game that really is how both of these characters ought to be playing it out. Oh, 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 uh, 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 trading group? Yo, for real. <laughs> what was that? Fall in corridors and uppings. That was uh, definitely an unconventional way to get some damage on. And now Gaius going to be ledge trapping, down tilting, backing away, just waiting for Tragedy to win. But Tragedy gets it. Able to catch that dash in with a dash attack. Playing around with Nightmare, I think, is definitely the smarter option for Tragedy. Try to make that space. Good DI out of that as well. Yeah, you can mash SDI in and up a little bit. You'll be able to fall out of it on occasion. Uh, or you just also can show you cannot functioning either way. <laughs> Tragedy is just it's alive. It's a little both ways, you know? Yeah, a little bit of both. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Parentheses making Ken non-functional. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm liking the play from Tragedy, though. It's a solid adaptation, although I worry if it's too little too late, as we already got first stock down in yeah. the second game. He also can't get away with cross-ups like that against Ken. Of course, auto targeting on the Classic. Now just gonna be backing away a little bit, both of them playing uh, some serious footsies who catching Guy is running on in. Ellie dodges, okay, has no double jump off stage, setting up a phantom. Neutral to be able to cover that jump. Side B to get the re grab, and somebody has no double jump off stage. Stalling that with was the Hadouken. That's such a good stall, too. It throws off the tempo so poorly for Zelda because a lot of her projectiles are on the slower end. So that little bit of a stall pays off so well. Yo, these like late hit four little combos are so good from Gaius and then using the focus to be able to get past that uh, Din's fire. Amazing stop, 181%. Still alive, setting up a tech chase. Gets the coverage, but doesn't get the double up here. A little bit too slow on the double jump. You have to press that sooner. It's not that plus on hit. It's plus on hit, but not that much. He's also got to have a little bit of faith in his character. That's Max Rage Ken right now. 71% on Zelda. She's not the heaviest in the game. Like, she is going to pop if we see that sure you hit. Oh my gosh, and just catching that air dodge in. Guy is in a fantastic position to be able to react to it. All of a sudden, tragedy cannot close. You have to get the stock off now. The, light, the lightest of bonus. That's so tough. Up yeah. throw, please. All right, there we go. The most acidic of Sally spots. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. Almost going to be catching that jump in. Uh, yeah, got I gotta Wi-Fi combos unlocked? <laughs> All these air dodges in, I feel like, have consistently given guys like such good openings uh, to be able to catch those landings and punish. You can't just be throwing your buttons around like that. Oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, not gonna be able to deal enough knockback with that one. The spike blast him didn't activate because uh, I just don't think he was fast enough. Is that gonna kill? Oh Yo, my god, it will. Guys just stood there, waited for it. He knew they were coming and didn't even have to worry about repositioning. Nets his kill, solid 2-0 to start the day. Oh, you gotta, you gotta unplug? You gotta unplug? Yeah, get those <laughs> headphones down. But yeah, no, beautiful stuff. Gaius uh, kind of owned that set. Look at that, the patience. Yeah, one more time. Oh. Just like waiting, like, oh, you keep mashing all these defensive options, you keep mashing out all these goals. Um, but the thing is, I feel like Guys was just always in a position to be able to react to and punish, uh, specifically Nairu's love, a lot of goals as well. Um, that's the biggest thing that you can do as Ken, right? You just gotta get close enough to the opponent and be like, okay, can I outplay you simply by virtue just waiting out bad options? You just gotta wait for somebody to mess up. That's how you find those openings. You see those dashes out, dashes back in, dashes out, dashes back in. That was Gaius' game plan. It was solid. It got the job done. Even when considering FADC for Ken, and this also applies to Ryu, their movement options are kind of stuffy. So you have to rely on that ground movement and just staying planted. Be patient, wait to react, because playing on second beat is so yep. pivotal to being able to have your good positioning, as well as not exhausting any of your own resources. Because if you misposition yourself, all of a sudden, you're not getting that max damage, you're not getting that kill, or you put yourself in a really tough spot where all of a sudden you get reversal and Recovery's not the, the greatest. Yep. Zelda is one of the best players, or character, excuse me, to stop somebody from playing the first beat, as we mentioned. Because